Hi Trans Lesbian 2000. I just watched some of your video, um, the one you made a couple of days ago for St. Patty's Day. Uh, you're talking about your transition journey. And in that video around the, uh, the 5 minute 39 second mark, you're discussing a TikTok video that a, a younger trans woman had shown you. Now I have not seen that video, your video myself, so I can't view it at the moment. I will link your video below in the description box uh, with a timestamp of where you started talking about this particular person. But in this video you describe this person as a trans woman, a trans man, a female to male, and you use she her pronouns. So I'm a little confused. I'll have to see the video if I can ever get a hold of it to make these determinations for myself. But in the meantime, I think we need to discuss a few things. Okay? So, um, let's begin. So, let's just forget the fact you start out calling this person a trans woman. A trans woman, okay? That might have been just a mistake. <coughs> you moved on to calling this person a trans man but you continue to use she, her pronouns. Um, so I don't know if you are misgendering him or if you are acknowledging her. And yet, in both cases, you are denying this person or you would deny this person access to the woman's washroom. Let's go with the premise that this is a trans man. Okay, so they're female to male. And that um, you're calling this person she, her is just a mistake. So they identify internally as a man. Trans men often get r beat up and raped by cis men in men's spaces. So you think about that. Maybe for this trans man, if they are indeed a trans man, feels safer in the woman's washroom than in the man's men's washroom to which they he rather should be allowed access to. This is a possibility, right? Based on what we know. About trans men, that is, and cis men, how they interact sometimes. Okay, now let's say that this is indeed a, um, a trans man, but they're using she, her pronouns. Maybe they do use those pronouns. Maybe they are not a trans man, but they a, they are a non-binary mask individual or mask presenting, right? So if they are non-binary, they could have all genders. They could have only two genders. They could have. Um, they could have no genders, or if they're gender fluid, their gender identity can change over time. So, they very well may have she/her pronouns, and because they identify internally as a woman, they have access to women's spaces, such as the women's washroom. Okay. And then there's also the possibility, if they are in D-trans, that they might be a detransitioner. They may be someone who had to detransition for health or safety reasons. And again, they may int identify internally as a woman 
or because despite being somewhat transitioned they will be clocked and possibly beat up or raped in min spaces by cis men. Okay? I I'm not accusing you of anything. Okay, I'm just laying out some some scenarios here based on what you've described. The TikTok video site unseen. Okay. So you and I were both trans women. We were assigned male at birth. We have male sex, but we identify internally as women. And because of that, no matter how passing we are or we, or we are not, we have access to women's spaces because internally we are women. If you apply the logic that you're applying to this individual in the video, you would have to apply that to many of us. And passing isn't an absolute. It is not, I guarantee you, this person's fault or people like this person's fault that the trans community, the trans and non-binary communities are hurting. I guarantee you it's not. I can guarantee you that there are many cis women who are getting assaulted and beaten up by cis men and cis women because someone decided they're trans. And some bigot decided this trans person, even though they're cis, doesn't deserve to be in women's spaces. And there are cis men who are getting beaten up for the same reason because they don't pass for cis men. And they're, they're, they are identified by someone else as trans. And they get sexually assaulted. Personally, that word. They get essayed and beaten up. So you and I know better. You and I, we do. And I'm not here to accuse you of anything. I'm here to reach out to you. This is me reaching out to you. I'm reaching out. Because we need to stick together. Trans folk, non-binary folk, gender fluid, and even cis people who may not pass for the actual gender they are, that they were born as, are getting essayed and beaten up by bigots. Right? We can't be gatekeepers. We know that trans people have not essayed women in women's spaces. We know trans people have not beaten up cis men in men's spaces. We know this. We know that cis men have essayed and beaten up trans men in men's spaces and non not sufficiently passing cis men in men's spaces. Also, similarly in women's spaces, cis men have done that to cis and trans women. We need to stick together, all of us, for our safety against bigots like that. And saying these things that you said in your video doesn't make you, doesn't help, let's put it that way, okay? It's not helping. To help, we need to stand together. We may not always understand someone else who's trans or non-binary, 
but we're all siblings. Okay? Let's work together. Okay? And I'm not even going to get into the intersex issue. But I'm sure you can put it together yourself and imagine what happens to a lot of them. Okay? Alright. I look forward to working with you someday. Take care.